You're about to learn how to make training videos with a realistic AI avatar and clickable options on the screen. And all you need to do is upload a file and let AI do the rest. So which one do you think is correct? Option A, B, or C? That's right. What would you like to do next? Now, your current employee training probably already exists in some other form, whether it's a PDF, a Word document, or a PowerPoint presentation. So instead of starting from scratch, you can convert those existing files into a video using Synthesia. Go ahead and follow the link in the description. And once you're in the dashboard, open up the AI video assistant at the top of the screen, where you have a few different ways to get started. Like I already mentioned, you can upload any file from your computer. You can link a web page. You can also start from scratch by adding a detail detailed prompts just describing exactly what you want to see in your video, or you can write out a full script and paste it into the box. But today I'm going to upload a Word document, which is just a script for some in-person security training. Now, one of the hardest things about creating videos is actually making them look good. So luckily with Synthesia, we can use the templates. Just underneath my file, I can pick a theme from the template library and all of these options have slick animations, text effects, and even AI avatar hosts that will present your video for you. After you've picked a template, you can also apply your brand kit. This is where you can save your company colors, your fonts and logos, which you can then apply directly to any of the template themes. Now at the bottom here, you can add a few more details to make your video even better. You can choose how long you want your video to be. You can add the objective for your training. You can specify the target audience and a few other details. And the way I like to look at this section is that the more information you give to the AI, the more context it will have and the better the final product will be. Once you're done, hit create outline and the AI will take all of that information and give you a script overview that's been split up into different chapters. If we open one up, you'll see some bullet points inside of everything that will be covered in the video. So if there's anything you don't like, you can just delete it. And if you want to add any more details, you can just type it into the box. You can also delete entire chapters too if you think they just don't work. Once you're happy with the outline, hit create video. And in just a few minutes, you'll get a more detailed preview of every scene in your video. You can see the layout, where the avatar will be, where the text will appear, as well as the final script script over on the right side of each scene. Now, if you're happy with it, you can go ahead and hit generate video, but you can also make some more changes by opening up the Synthesia editor. And right away, you can see that it's automatically applied my brand kit with the right logo, the fonts and color scheme, but everything else you see is fully customizable. Starting at the bottom of the screen, I can make any changes to the avatar script by typing or deleting what I want them to say. And on the canvas, I can also change or move any text I see. I can also change the avatar itself by selecting it on the canvas and opening up the avatar library on the right hand side where there are hundreds of different hosts to choose from but now i want to turn my training from a slick video into a completely interactive experience with clickable options on the screen first things first i'm going to add a new scene from the template options and this one here has a list so i think it will work well for a multi-choice question and now i'll go ahead and change this text into my list of possible answers I'll also add a new script for my avatar. So I want mine to ask a question and then read through each of the answer options. And now I'm gonna make some answer pages. If you're making a quiz video like this, you'll need a correct and incorrect answer page. So I'll choose what I want my answer pages to look like from the new scene menu and add my on-screen text and avatar script to explain what's happening. Now we can go back to the question page and make those on-screen options clickable. I'll just select my first line of text turn on the switch for interactivity, and from here I could choose a page to link the button to. It's as easy as that. You receive a suspicious email containing a link attached. What do you do? A. Click the link immediately and enter your details. B. Forward the email to a coworker to see if they Oh, that's not the right answer. Let's see why. Another feature that can take your training videos to the next level is by adding some B-roll, but I'm not talking about any old generic stock footage. All you need to do is type in exactly what you want to see in your video clip, and Synthesia uses Google VO3 to generate bespoke video clips based on your description. Once I'm done editing, I'll hit generate and then generate again. And once it's rendered, I can hit publish to make my video live. So when I link it to my colleagues, they'll get the full interactive experience. Cyber threats are not just headlines. They're real and relentless. Our mission today is to arm you with practical habits to safeguard our digital world. So let's start with a real world scenario. But when you create a training video, it's also crucial to know how many people actually watched it. 
And if you've added a quiz element, you might also want to check how many people interacted with the questions. Just open up your video page and you'll see the video analytics option at the top of the screen. Obviously, I haven't shared my video yet, so there's not any numbers to see, but this page breaks down the views, the impressions, the average watch time, you get the completion rate and even the button click through rate too. But to make your training videos even more personalized, you can add your own personal avatar that looks and sounds exactly like you. And you can learn how to make one right now by watching the video on screen.